Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm so excited that uh, this is uh, part two. Uh, and we told you we're going to be doing these little short sessions. And I've got my special guest back here, uh, the foremost authority on tax liens, tax deeds, and really good friend, Ted Thomas. Hey, Ted. Good to see you. Good man. to see you. So we were talking about tax liens. Uh, again, can you just do a quick review for folks who uh, may not have been with us yesterday, uh, talking about tax lien certificates, what they're all okay, about? Okay, great. Uh, folks, across America, all property is taxed with the exception of the schools, the universities, and the churches. And so those uh, institutions are tax-free, but everyone else has to pay a tax. Now, generally speaking, the tax on property is 1% or 2%. Now, New York and California might, might be a little higher. You might be in a place just a little higher. But it's not a burdensome thing. And what we're talking about is property tax. Now, I forgot to say that when I talked in the first one, but uh, we're talking about property. So this is not a sales tax. It's not excise tax. It's not. Uh, it's really like a wealth tax. It actually all came from England a couple of hundred years ago. And what I teach is I teach people how to make money in this business. You say, well, make money on taxes, right? That sounds crazy. Well, when people don't pay their tax, the county has a problem. The problem is this. Number one, they've got to pay the firefighters. Number two, they've got to pay the police. Number three, they're going to pay the school teacher. You're getting the idea. Someone has to fix the roads. So if someone doesn't pay the tax, now the county has a shortfall. So the legislature of the state and the county, they got together. And they said, look, we've got to do something about this. People have to pay their tax. So here's what they do. Half of the states, like Maryland, they have to pay a, on a tax lien certificate. So what will happen is the county will say, you didn't pay your tax. So they'll send you out a little bill and tell you about it. But for the rest of us, they'll publish a notice and they'll put it in the paper and just be a piece of it. So I could buy a tax lien and pay your tax. Now, why in goodness would I want to pay your tax? Because if I pay your tax... Then when you come in to pay, and 97% of the people will pay. We know that. So we know you're going to come in to pay, but when you come and pay, you're going to pay late. So every month that you're late in Maryland, it's going to be like 2% a month. So if you stay late all year, that's 24%. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the 24%. So yes. when it comes in late, the money all goes to the government. The government sends me 24%. Well, if I can make 24% of my investment, I'm like Warren Buffett. I mean, think about that, 24%. So I'll pay taxes on any property that I've looked at. Now, if I haven't looked at it, I'm not going to do it. But I'll pay taxes because I could make these high returns. All right. The other side of it very quickly is the states like Virginia, uh, New York, California, they're not so benevolent. They say, we're not issuing those tax certificates. If people don't pay their tax, wacko, they slap your hand, they confiscate the house. In other words, they evict you from your, your property hmm. because it's a privileged own, own property. And the privilege is They'll let you do anything you want. You can cut it up. You can sell it. You can, it, you can rent it. But one thing you've got to do is you've got to pay a tax. And so that's like 1%. So in Virginia, they're just going to move you out of that house. Then they're going to sell it. So the government is in place for one reason only. That's to collect the taxes. When they collect the tax, disperse it out. The county now is dispersing it out. Firefighters, policemen, school teachers, people to fix the roads, someone to take care of the life, all the county service, well, including... What about people in the hospital? Some people can't afford the hospital. So they send money to the hospital. So all of that's done by the county, but they have to have money. So that's how that's why we have a property tax and you have to pay it. If you don't pay it, and lots of people don't. For example, I'm talking to you in Florida. In Florida, in the month of May, they'll have 67 counties. If I add them all up for you, I'll add them up because I got a computer to do it. I add it up. There will be 1 million people, property owners, haven't paid their tax. Wow. 1 million. Wow. And so I can buy a certificate. And if I buy the certificate, I can make 18% in Florida. Nice. So there's kind of a summary. Nice, nice. So does every state in the union have this kind of a tax certificate program? Every state in the union has either. Uh, yeah, they all have the same program. It's either tax liens or it's tax deeds. Got so uh, yeah, like Virginia does tax deeds. They don't mess around with the tax liens. They're, they're firm. You're going to pay right now. Uh, tax lien states, very benevolent state. They don't kick the people out. You see, a tax lien is a good deal for everybody. It's a good deal for you because you make money, but the homeowner doesn't get kicked out. So, you know, people have trouble in life. You know, sometimes, what if your wife was sick? Would you pay the government or would you pay for the hospital? Well, you pay the hospital. Yeah. So now your tax is late. So then you recover. You go, well, what if you lost your job? People lose jobs, okay? All kinds of crises happen in life. So a tax certificate is pretty good. You don't get kicked out, but you're going to have to pay a penalty. And, you know, you can pay a master charge late. You pay a penalty, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, 
how is how is it that you know I got an account at Fidelity, you got an account at Charles Schwab? How come those guys don't tell me about this kind of stuff? Because you don't eighteen twenty four percent rates of return. Uh, okay, all right, <laughs> folks. The reason you don't know about it is nobody's at fault here. Hmm. Our system is if a stockbroker is selling things, they get paid for doing that. If an attorney talks to you and gives you advice on the phone, they get paid for that. Well, the county doesn't let anybody get paid on tax certificates. Mm. So you're going to have to learn how to buy them direct. Yeah. And that's what I do. I teach people how to do this direct. I teach you how to do it. Just sit on your rusty dusty at home. Just sit on your computer and we'll teach you. Matter of fact, we're the only organization in the world that I know of, okay, right. that has teachers every day. We mm. not only, when people get involved with us, we have some, we have what we call facilitators. So you, you, you're, you're studying, you start scratching your head, just dial the phone. And they'll tell you, they'll give you an answer. Nice. So we, we've been doing this. This is my 30th year doing the same business. 30th right. year. Now, now I, I, we've got friends and family from outside the, the state of Maryland, outside the U.S., as a matter of fact. Can you do this from anywhere in the world? If you have a computer and it's online, yes. Okay. Uh, the only thing that you need to have is a USA bank account. Because okay. you see the counties here, uh, we're, the only, we're the last island in the world. This is the only place they only talk one language. <laughs> and so you have to have, you have to be here and be able to have an account here. So everything's done in U.S. dollars. Gotcha. So you have to. So if you are in France or I have clients in the United Kingdom, all of the Canadian provinces, they right. can get a USA account very easily. So they, so it's, this can all be done online from any any country that you want. Gotcha. So so yeah. which which what, if I'm a new person, what, where do I start? Do I start with the certificates or do I go straight to the deeds? The um, all the real estate guys are going to go straight for the deeds because, you know, they got greed lands about that big. So, so they really want to go for the gold. If yeah. you're a conservative investor and you're just getting started uh, or you're a senior, <clears throat> unlike myself, if you're a senior, you want to be very conservative with your investment. So tax lien certificates, categorically, these are the safest, the most lucrative investment in America. They're the safest. But now, here's why. You can't invest with Ted Thomas. There's no broker. You're going to invest directly with the county. And when the people come in and pay their tax, you're going to get a check back from the county. Got now, it. if you do it online, you're not going to get a check. They're just going to notify you by text that your bank account just increased. Got they it. send it right to your bank account. So a tax lien certificate is safe and secure. If you have, if you have real estate experience, you'll just fall in love with these tax deeds because they're actually selling the property. The right. big question there, the big mistake people make is they, they don't want, you don't want to go to a list. Let me show you a list. Okay. So this will be a list in California. All right. This list will have 2,000 properties that they're going to sell for back taxes. There's 2,000 on this list. All right. What you don't want to do is what I'm going to do right now. You don't want to go in here and say, oh, I like that number. There's a property description. You can't see it from where you are. Okay. And start buying it. What you need to do is you have to get boots on the ground and eyes on the property. Okay. And then you buy it. So you might want to hire somebody to go there with a video camera, but everybody's got one in the back pocket nowadays. Yep. I mean, what does it matter? You can take your iPhone and Take a look at it. And does it matter where I'm going after big deals, small deals, sliver here, mansion? Well, mansion, I can yeah. tell you, um, if, if you've got money, yeah. this is a seriously good business because there's going to be half a million dollar properties that are going to come up for auction. There's going to be million dollar properties. I mean, I could find, I don't have the time right now on, on camera, but I could yeah. find some in here that'll have a tax assessed value of a half a million dollars or a million. Well, those properties aren't going to get sold for five cents they're going to get sold for, I'd say a million dollar property is probably going to go out the door at, at 250, 300. Gotcha. Right, look at the, look at the, look at the margin, margin from 300 to a million. Yeah. Or why not buy a lot of properties in that? Uh, I tell people, if you, if you can get properties that are resellable, like the, the average house today is right around 300,000. Now right. your market, it's higher than that. You're more, more than five or seven, but, if you can get three hundred thousand dollars, those are gonna those are gonna sell like that. Yep. I mean, because that's what young people want. Exactly. So if you can get those and get them for thirty cents on the dollar, you're doing well. You know yeah. well. Now yeah, there's many yeah. properties that will be sold for five and ten cents on the dollar. <laughs> that's great. The bidding the bidding starts at the back taxes are very close. The okay. county, uh, um, um, the county seizes the property. Then all they do is they wait until the auction, then they resell it back into the marketplace. They right. don't care what they get. They just, when they put the minimum bid is what they want and that's the back taxes right. and put the property on the tax roll. And, and I think yesterday you said that it's like 1%. So if I got a $400,000 house, 
you're talking about four thousand dollars in potentially back taxes for one year. Yeah, but it'll be behind a few years, so add it up. Say it's, it might start at ten or fifteen thousand dollars because yeah, it fines yeah, still, it. Still, yeah. you know, four hundred thousand dollar house that really is pennies on the dollar. Oh, it's 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 unbelievable. I mean, I, 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 and when I started, I would tell people you could buy for five or ten cents on the dollar. Now yeah. I tell them buy for twenty five and thirty cents on the dollar only because that people just wouldn't believe that they could do that. But yeah. it's going to happen. I mean, I, I've got all kinds of case studies. Now I'll put a little video in here. Okay. I'll show you a couple. Yeah. I taught them how to do it. They're going to buy up in Michigan. By the way, okay. in Michigan, you can actually use your credit card to buy a property. <laughs> the same thing in New York. Wow. I bought, I bought $300,000 properties, not $100,000, a $300,000 value. I bought it at auction. And I used, I got it for 30 cents on the dollar. So I got, I thought it was worth one. I paid 120 and I did it with a credit card. Nice. Nice. All right. So I'm going to show a couple in the video. Okay. And these numbers are so small, but they made so much. So this is how the little guy gets started. They paid $8,000 for a house. Okay. Four bedroom, one bath. Nice. They kind of cleaned it up and whatever. So they spent, they spent eight. They cleaned it up. Now they're in at 12. Okay. We put the signs up like we taught them. We tell them buy it low, sell it low. It had a fifty-five thousand dollar value. Mm -hmm. They bought it for eight. Mm -hmm. They're in at twelve. Mm -hmm. They sold it like that for thirty-five thousand, and then we said do an installment contract. Mm -hmm. So they took a ten years of payments. They got fifty-two thousand dollars out of a twelve thousand dollar investment. Sweet. What was the Very risk? Nice. What was the risk? <laughs> so people are doing that all the time. I've got one guy that's worked with me. He started out a few years ago. He's now done 60 properties at auction with no money, his credit card. Nice. So this is business is wide open. They can't sell all the properties. Now, I know you don't believe me, but they can't sell all the properties that's because crazy. the people don't know about it. So I'm going to show you a brochure. Okay. I'm, I'm, off, I'm off track. Let me see if I got one right here. Okay, these are brochures that I, that I just printed before we started, okay? I, I downloaded this offline. This is Sullivan County. You, you, I'm just going to put it up so the camera can see it. It says yeah. Sullivan County. All right, let me, let me move it on. Yeah, Sullivan yeah. County, that's one hour and 15 minutes from New York City. Wow. One hour and 15, up in the big oak trees, rolling hills, whatever. Yeah. yeah. They can't sell all the property. They had an auction, and it, said, it says right on it, you probably can't read it, but up here it says 215 properties, starting bid, back taxes. That's amazing. They couldn't sell them all. They could not sell all the property. Why? Here's the big mistake. Yeah. Unfortunately, the government always doesn't think things out too well. Yeah. They can only advertise in the county they're in. <laughs> the county can only... That's crazy. Right. <laughs> I want you to think about that. The that county is, is here. New yeah. York City is here. We right. got, they can't advertise New York. There's 8 million people sitting here. <laughs> they don't even advertise. Oh, my God. Talk about small thinking. <laughs> so so we, have, we have databases. We can access every property in the United States from your computer. All I right. can access every property in the United States from your computer. Awesome. Now, let me ask a question, though. So which is better? Am I better off trying to go after deals in like a Los Angeles County or am I better off in like that little County that's an hour North of, does it make a difference? I, I tell yeah, it does. It does. Um, okay. uh, the, if you're, if you're a real estate person, just draw a circle around where you are, you know, go to, go to Starbucks, get a coffee cup and mm -hmm. put it down like this and do a big circle around where you are. So check all those counties first. Now, mm -hmm. if you don't see the deals you like, then do the circle again because yeah. Travel today is not so easy. Mm -hmm. And somehow along the line, you're going to have to do some travel. Now, I buy properties in other states, and I never go there, okay? But I send people to do that. But even so, it's not the old, the old day, you know, we go out to the airport, you go out to, to, to well, I've done it in Baltimore. If I, I, leave, I leave Orlando at 6 o'clock. I'm in Baltimore at 8 o'clock. I drive over to the hotel and come and speak at your group even. Right, right. You know, that was, it wasn't a chore. There was nothing to it. Now, that's a day's trip. Yeah. Because yeah. I got to wait for security and then I got to wait there for whatever. So I would say just do it close first. If you're a pro, if someone's watching me, I'll, I'll tell you when I do formal classes. Now we're going to do a class on this for you guys yep. and it's coming up. So you want to watch yeah. for the announcement of that. 
But when I do a formal class and I say, come into my classroom, I look at the guys and I say, don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm a fixer upper guy. I do flippers. You remember me from back in my foreclosure days. You remember I wrote best selling books on foreclosure Absolutely. years ago. Years ago. And, I, and they say, oh, yeah, I'm a flipper. I said, well, why aren't you doing flippers? He said, there's none left. I mm -hmm. said, oh, there's none left. Now you're over here where I am. Oh, yeah. Not, so they want to learn. So the, but if they're a real estate person, they can do exactly, they can do, the, the, the United States is a gold mine. Now, you're not going to find every property you want in Houston this month, but next month, I can guarantee you there'll be 200 more. And right. the month after that, for 30 years, I watched these auctions. You know, Los Angeles will have, this is Los Angeles. Los Angeles will have 1,500 to 2,000 properties at the next auction. I've hmm. never seen less than 1,500. Think about that. Staggering, just staggering. Yeah. So why would anybody want to do tax certificates versus tax deeds or vice versa? Oh, um, this business, uh, if you saw my client list, 64% yeah. are women. Hmm. Women are security conscious. Uh, they will do my kind of real estate, whereas they won't do fixers. Because okay. I say, if you buy it, I don't want you fixing up property. I mean, sure. you know, you see those fixer shows on TV and the beautiful girl introducing all this stuff. Guys knocking down fireplaces with sledgehammers and all that. And then 29 minutes later, there's yeah. a mansion. Right. Well, <laughs> you, you've done it because I know you did some of those inner city properties. So you know, what am I telling you, right? Yeah, this yeah, yeah. is and a headache to do that. But well, women, not only that, there was, there, was many a, there was many a night my contractor was scrambling to get the property done because we we're getting ready to go to closing and stuff still needed to get fixed. And he's in these, you know, sketchy neighborhoods at, you know, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. I would never want to see my wife, my daughter, um, anybody, exactly. you know, in that situation. But yeah, he, he, yeah. it's nothing like the TV shows. Yeah. yeah. I get, I get so, these, so these gals, we tell them, buy it low. So let's yep. say you get a property at 20 cents on the dollar. So it's a worth 100,000. Right. Yeah. We're not going to get rich in one deal. So okay. you bought it for 20,000, sell the damn thing to a fixer guy for 40. Yeah. Get yeah. out. Okay. There's so much inventory. There's mm. no way they will sell all the properties in the United States. Now, someone watching me would say, oh, listen, I went to the auction in, in such and such a town. There wasn't any. The small um, population cities are only going to have a few, but proportion, it's, it's the same. But okay. a big population city like a Los Angeles or Houston, they're right. going to have a lot. All yeah. right. So Miami has so many, so many, this is going to stagger you. They have so many that they have an auction every other week. Wow. <laughs> every other week. Broward County does probably six or eight a year. Uh, so that'll give you some idea. So in Florida, the, the population is all condensed between uh, West Palm Beach and Miami. The 40% of the state lives there. So mm -hmm. they got so many that they have to have weekly. Orlando has uh, an auction every 10 days. Mm. Every 10. Now, there'll only be 10 or 15 properties, but they don't wait. But if that's, you, if that's close to you, just go ahead and keep going to it. And you mm. can do it online. Mm. So uh, my point is, there is enough for everybody, enough for everybody. So one thing I better mention right now, I've got a, an event coming up. It's an all day event. Okay. It only costs 47 bucks, folks. It's all day. If you're learning a lot right now, just imagine okay. what will happen. I not only teach it myself, I've been doing, I'm a, I'm a player. I do this. I don't just talk about it. I do this and I'm going to bring other players to the, to the meeting and they'll tell you exactly the kind of things that they do. So you get a, a, a really varied idea. Now, one guy specializes in tax liens. It's a class not to be missed. He buys in Florida, and Florida pays a maximum of 18%. He's figured out how to get 19. He gets 19. I said, how the hell are you going to get 19 when 18 is the maximum? He said, I'll show you. And he'll show you. And it's all legal. We're not doing anything that's not you know, kosher. It, this, is, this is good <laughs> stuff. And so I got a class coming up. So you guys watch for the announcement, and uh, we'll have you come there, and you'll get, you'll get, a, lot, you'll get a lot out of it. It's an all-day class. Yeah. Excellent. So. So we, pretty quick. We, uh, uh, we're getting close to a run out of time for you, I know. Do you want to yeah. button it up with any, any questions or anything? Uh, no, I mean, I, I think you've answered all the questions between yesterday's session, today's session. Um, again, you talked about 20, you know, 24%. You talked about the difference between tax liens and tax deeds. Um, t you know, tell us a little bit more about what's going to happen at this event, because I'm, I'm going to clear my deck and I'm going to be there. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's on a, I try to do it on a weekend day if I can. Yep. And uh, what I do is... I start out with an introduction and I, I go right into the details all about tax lien certificates. So they completely understand that. 
Cool. And that progresses to going to tax deeds. And remember, there's a difference. One, you're getting a check, one, you're getting a property. So quite a difference. Gotcha. And then we progress to having another speaker come in and he just talks about for an hour and a half, just about tax liens. Okay. Then another guy comes in and just talks about, but they show examples then. And I'm going to put a couple of examples into this video when we finish so okay. that you have people will see, because some of these things are, uh, when you see the people talk about it, you see how excited they are. And do, you, and do you cover tips and strategies for doing out-of-town investing? So example, I, I'm, you know, I'm not ready to retire yet, but if I wanted to retire to Florida, why not start buying tax liens, tax deeds in Florida? You can, can we will actually have classes on, on and, and we have a class, as a matter of fact, we have a class every Friday just to teach people how to do it online. Excellent. And we have regular cl classes uh, that, uh, that are done within the training. So after, we're, after we're we get, after we get the fundamentals down. So, the, so the, the class coming up is to get the fundamentals down. And then you teach. Yeah, but the, the classes are always fundamental. And then yeah. when someone asks an advanced question, bang, oh, he takes them. We're, we can have you sitting at your computer and have you, have you buying tax lien certificates or tax deeds within 30 days. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Anybody cool. wants to do it. And, and, and you said already, and you already said, you know, and you can get in the game for as little as 500 bucks, right? 500 bucks. But remember, you're not going to get a mansion for 500 bucks. Right. Yeah. But uh, I, I have clients buying, uh, um, ending up with houses and only spending 10 and 11,000. I'll okay. show you that. Excellent. I'm happy to show you that. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So you're going to fl flash that up on the screen. I think that's all the questions I got for you for now, but I've still got people, uh, guys, feel free to put them in the chat box. Um, and uh, we're going to do one more session, right, Ted? Yeah, I, actually, we can do, let's do two more. Let's do two more. Okay. Uh, so, guys, keep the questions coming. And uh, Ted and I are going to do another session. Keep those questions coming. I don't want to start on these questions again. Maybe there's a one fast one, one quick one. Uh, is there any, uh, oh, here we go. Is there any difference between, say, East Coast, West Coast, North, South? I mean, is, is the Sun Belt better? Is Detroit better? Is Arizona better? Okay, well, um, I can tell you right now, uh, Detroit's got a real bad reputation. Yeah. However, just get one or two counties out of Detroit and you're gonna find a lot of houses that you can buy for 10 and $15,000 and resell for 65 and 75,000. I'll tell you mm -hmm. that right now. I've got people that have bought as many as 60 just outside of, just outside of Detroit. So you uh, can so, really, so once uh, you know tell, what you're doing, you can really make money anywhere. Well, that's the idea. In this business, you can do that. And so there's little properties for some people and big ones for others. People that really have money, once they see this, they kind of go into shock and then they can narrow cast. You see, if you've got a big list, we teach them to funnel it right down to a little thing like this. And yeah. we can do that on the computer with them watching us and then they can do it themselves. Cool. Once they do that, it changes the whole ball game. Excellent. All right, guys, um, keep the questions coming and we will have Ted back in a couple more days and yes. kick this off again. And Ted, thanks again. Really appreciate it. And you're going to see the videos and put the information up for the upcoming event, right? Good. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Okay. We won with a bid of $7,900. Here we are. This is Fraser Street. And look at that wonderful sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing about the signs. You know, we, we didn't even think anything about this sign stuff. And it was brought to our attention by uh, Ted that, you know, this is, this is a surefire way to get people's attention. And he's absolutely right. Yeah. And, and that day, then we had neighbors and people that had been driven, driving by stop and um, check out the property. And so this is, this is how it went. We ended up uh, having, uh, using Facebook marketplace and our cool, um, and our cool, sign and the guy that bought it ended up coming off facebook none of those people that we that came and stopped and looked at it um, were were anybody that bought the house and so the our for us the loan amount we just plugged it in here thirty five thousand dollars at eight and a half percent um over 10 years at 12 payments a year and the start date so then the summary though this is Kind of so then if a person makes a payment, they this is the balance, they make their payment, they can even you can even plug in their extra payment and the date, and it'll adjust your interest and stuff for you. So you don't have to hand figure that out. It's just like when you go to the bank. So for us, it once we plugged all this in, it came up with that his payments would be four hundred and eleven dollars and he um, would have these many payments. He at we had him make 
um, bigger payments the first six months to make up for the idea that he didn't have a big down payment. Um, so he paid us more of those first six months. And now he pays uh, $411. But the total interest then, the interest made on all the money that was in here, just the interest, it amounts to $15,995.51. So that's just the interest. That's just profit. It was $23,443 profit on the sale. And $15,995 uh, profit on the note. So all of our investment, which of course we've already gotten back, and the profit on the property, and the profit on the note. So the total for just the profit part, not our investment, but the total profit part is $39,438. And I think for that $12,000, that's a pretty good deal.